What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We're taking a look at Flash versus Rich, who's spawning here in the top center. Rich is a 2700 player. Let me just take a look at his exact rank. 2735. Very, very strong Protoss ladder player. And he managed to meet Flash a couple of times. Actually, I didn't cover the first series between him and Flash, which was played on the 24th of this month, July 24th, 2024. And we just recently had another series. So on the 30th, Rich played another three game series against Flash. And so I'm going to cover both of those today. We're going to go uh, straight six games in a row and see the difference in how Flash has evolved uh, between the first three games and the second three games. I'm really looking forward to this. So let's jump right in. We've already got a gateway and a gas started here for Rich. Gas and Barracks started for Flash. Now, Flash gonna send out the SCV after the Barracks and the gas. Gonna go ahead and get a scout going in that main base. He really wants to know the Timing of this upgrade right here, the ranged upgrade is very important for Flash. Uh, as of late, he tends to make basis decisions, I think, on how quickly this upgrade starts. It seems like a lot of times when he doesn't see this upgrade coming, he's just going to go for hyper aggressive play to try and kill the Nexus. And if it starts up really early, uh, he's just going to play more standard, more uh, defensive focused a lot of damage from this probe already on one of these scvs bringing it pretty low but the marine's gonna help out pushing that back and factory starts you can see he's right in there just touring around inside the base checking to see are you making that upgrade or not well looks like it starts does flash see it he does but it's actually the air weapon upgrade all right air weapons on the way right now we've got one marine oh my god and the barracks is floating this is bad we've got a zealot walking over towards the natural and one marine if he kills this marine and stops the scv from building we could see it flash be in a lot of trouble but what is he doing what what is this what are we doing right now zealot's not gonna go in go 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 what are we What's going on? Well, he's going to wait until a second Marine is out and a Vulture and the bunker is done. That's crazy to me. Looks like we've canceled the air weapon upgrade now that the SCV has left the base. Dragoon just going to make a run by. Okay, and the Zealot's going to go at the same time. Tries to block with the SCV, but this is pretty annoying. We've got a Dragoon in here to block the Vulture out and the Zealots can go after the Marines. We will indeed go for that. Trying to pick up that vulture. Oh, it's only got five HP left. It's going to loop all the way around. Oh my goodness. And he's going to block with the SCVs. This is so good. I can't believe he actually kept that alive. It's almost like he set up those supply depots in that exact manner uh, on purpose. That is crazy. That is pretty insane that he managed to get the vulture away going through that little pathway. He heals that back up. Now he can set it out on the map. We will be able to get by this Dragoon. Second Dragoon. I don't know what he was doing. Picking his nose over there or something. A robotics facility is coming in. Nexus is finishing up. We've got an SCV on the map. He's got to go a little farther away than this, though, if he wants to be able to repair that. And the Dragoon cannot find it just yet. He's being very persistent, though. Sending the Dragoons all over the place. Try and pick up the scent of this Vulture. Hiding just below the screen here. And it looks like he's not going to spot it. So he gets the repair. Flash gets the repair. He only loses a couple SCVs. He lost the SCV on here. He might have lost one more and he lost two Marines. And that is it. So not too bad for being so skimpy on the early defense. One Marine, you hardly ever see that. You hardly ever see it. It's usually three Marines and a Vulture that's ready to meet that first Zealot and Dragoon. And that's maybe why Rich didn't pull the trigger on that early aggression, like sending the Zealot in immediately. If he had, 
he could have killed the first marine and completely delayed the factory would have been bad news bears for flash now at this point he's got vultures on the map he hasn't lost any of them he's gonna be able to throw out all the mines get some good uh, control just out in front of the base the vultures are gonna retreat back home now this one needs to be repaired that's one thing I've been witnessing a lot from Flash or seeing a lot from Flash is that he really takes care to always repair these units. Sending back the injured units every single time to make sure that he gets the absolute maximum value he can out of those. Setting up some more mines here. We're about to have an observer though, I imagine. There it is. Observer is out. Three dragoons in the natural, ready to block any incoming speed vultures. And that speed was finished just moments ago. So he hasn't started siege mode just yet, which makes him a little tiny bit uh, vulnerable. But look at this. We saw rain just a couple of days ago uh, as he was clearing out the mines, not uh, hold his natural properly, but Rich doing a great job making sure that he is not vulnerable to this. Look at that. Four vultures going to try to run by again. But three dragoons here in the natural. Now five dragoons in that natural ready to block him. There's nothing. There's there's no um, siege mode here. So this many dragoons can be a real problem. That's enough to one shot tank or two shot tanks. Excuse me. Not one shot. Just got to be careful. It's looking like another six factory. Honestly, look at how many tanks he's already popped out so far are we gonna see a big factory add in just a moment he has plus one on the way four tanks already about to be two more the very early machine shops are allowing him to pump out way more tanks than most players would go for with the six factory throws down two more factories here are we going to go up to six or is this just some sort of four factory uh, into a third base play? Look at this. He's floating the barracks and the engineering bay out. That's usually what he does when he's going to go for the six fact, but it's a little bit too early and they're heading in the wrong direction. He's just getting vision over here. The two floating buildings really reminiscent of that six factory play, but look, he saved up quite a bit of money. I think we're going to see a CC added, added on in just a moment. Academy's on the way. He's finally going to get into that add-on so that he can scan his opponent's main. He's got bare minimum number of turrets right now. Almost none, really. Just two turrets here in the main. There's so much space for Reavers to be able to drop. But he spots that shuttle, I believe. He sees the shuttle coming in. Will he move tanks in position? Maybe he didn't see that. Okay, now he sees it for sure. Sees it for sure with the eBay. Gonna go ahead and drop the Reaver. Going after the turret, most likely. Does hit that turret. Will have to back away now. Pretty good stuff here overall from Flash. Good defense of the early Reaver. These two Vultures are gonna lose their lives, but the CC can get started now at 9 minute 25. Flash is ready to start pushing out. Taking that third base here at a good strong timing. Adding on more turrets. Now that the tank defense in the main is no longer viable. Because we have to hold this uh, third base location. We can't just have five tanks in the main. Setting up the turret ring all the way around. This is beautiful, beautiful play from Flash. Really realizing the strengths and weaknesses of his own build and acting accordingly. Two Ravers now in the shuttle. There is the potential to just fly by one of these turrets, but you know that there's a second layer of turrets in the main. Right? You fly past this one, you're going to get hit by this one. You fly past this one, you're probably going to get hit by this one or this one. So flying in like suicidal with the shuttles might not be the best choice. Let's see what Rich decides to do as he pops out another shuttle. And more factories are added on for Flash. Looks like Vulture's being finished off here. There's the double shuttle coming into the main. Let's see how this goes. 
sacrificing the first shuttle i think just to kill off this missile turret so that he can get the second shuttle in let's see how this goes he's diving in now reavers landing in position oh he gets one tank but won't find much more than that just a single tank for a shuttle for zealots i don't know if it's worth feels like you could get more uh, out of that unit out of that combo the shuttle zealot combo if flash was indeed to attack or maybe come down here start to land zealots on top of the tanks might be a better solution but he tried it he wanted to see if he could get in there and flash tells him no lots of mines in this main once again turrets have been reset up some scans are going out to figure out what's going on for rich rich just throwing down his fourth base at 11 minute 30. it's a little bit slow but he's added on a lot of gateways he's ready for an, an attack coming up and oh my goodness we've got reavers dropping here in the third base gonna deal some pretty good damage right now and he's keeping this shuttle very active you can see him moving back and forth he does lose the one reaver but you can see how he's continuously moving the shuttle back and forth while controlling and firing targeting down uh, scvs this is something that snow has really mastered but you're starting to see other protoss players really pick up on it as well to get really good at it um of course rich just not quite at that level but he was able to get the one reaver out and um had an opportunity to maybe save that second reaver as well just not quite on the ball in that case Good job moving these dragoons around, just clearing the map of mines. You can see there's almost no mines out here on the map. It's very hard to do something like this against a seasoned Terran player, someone who is constantly rotating their vulture, sending out small packs to just lay down mines everywhere. It's really a testament to Rich's play that there's almost no mines on this map, but he's still going to lose some probes here because Flash is just that... Uh, relentless with his vultures trying to get that damage there's a reaver over here just defending this fresh base oh sorry this is the fifth base a part of me i completely forgot about this one over here in the center left that is crazy so 11 minute fifth base well that's a much better position than i was thinking originally rich is making a massive army right now and from what i've seen recently out of flash I mean, that army looks pretty darn good, but from what I've seen recently, when Flash does this style where he goes for up mech and gets kind of defensive in the early game, it generally doesn't work out too well for him. A lot of Protoss players have been able to take him apart with uh, when he does this. Motive, for instance, uh, managed to take him out like, what was it, five or six times in a row? Snow was able to take him down a bunch of times, but then when Flash went for really aggressive play, when he switched everything over into hyper aggression, six factory and that type of thing, he was able to take a lot of games off of those same players uh, only weeks afterwards. So let's see if this is going to be a repeat of, of that pattern, what we've seen in those two matchups, where Flash is going to try really heavy macro play and have a hard time and then switch up into aggressive play because right now he's allowing i think rich to get away with a bit too much he's already setting up another expansion down here look at the money he's managed to accumulate on 78 probes his army can't be that big the flash inching forward right now he's trying to bait the army into a fight as he's coming up the ramp but look at how many mines are underneath this and we've already got storm as well Ooh, that was a really good storm see four kills on that high templar a lot of the dragoons got some of those kills as well that's a nine kill dragoon right there he's gonna go down uh in a blaze of glory as zealots start to charge the field right on top of this oh the <laughs> the storm actually kind of hurting rich there Killing off a bunch of the mines that otherwise could have been dragged. But this is a great trade, honestly, for Rich. He lost a lot of his Zealots. He lost a couple of Templar as well. 
but he can remax this crazy fast and flash is just going to push up here on the high ground if he comes across the map right now i would say that's probably a mistake because a lot of tanks were just killed quite a bit of that was reset he's going to take this fourth this is the right choice for sure for sure flash of course making the right choice here he's just going to spread out on this high ground transfer scvs get this fourth base online remax as quickly as possible and look to push out take the center of the map split the army uh, coming from you know different directions probably take this area and then try to take the high ground over here and push into this uh, i think that will probably be the the way that flash wants to play this out but he's got to get this base online first zealots over here high templar as well gonna execute a bunch of these scvs 64 do remain so still a lot of scvs here for flash but these are highly annoying attacks that are slowing him down while rich is growing in power he's coming in from another angle here at 180 supply he's put together a fairly good uh, gateway army a lot of templar back at the rally point as well and he's stopped a lot of these turrets from coming up which leaves him open to attack leaves flash open to attack he's thinking about pushing in this direction which i'm a bit interested in maybe flash wants to secure a fifth base i want to take this base out as quickly as possible he knows that this is probably my only option for a fifth base as a terran player on this map in this position so he's gonna try and take that down shuttles coming in good target fire on some of these uh good goliaths to actually picks uh one of these shuttles off but the other one does manage to unload zealots getting picked off as they come down the ramp great d matrix there on the forward tank to keep that alive and it really does seem like he's going to be able to wipe out this base however will the counter attack come through from rich will he be able to hit that fourth base it really doesn't look like it the spread of tanks is very nice we kind of need to spread these ones out a little bit more against the number of templar that are have been fielded but maybe he can break through with some good drops all right here we go zealots on top of these tanks that's gonna pick off a bunch of the tanks here on that high ground he's trying to break through right now trying to get down to this fourth base the storms have not been casted yet okay reavers actually inside of this so he's gonna go for this big hit oh my god damn what a reaver hit that was i mean i don't know if that was worth two reavers going down but hell that was a huge amount of scv kills for just one scarab shot maybe one of the most i've seen i'm gonna get a few kills here with the templar as well flash not really paying attention to this right now and so quite a few things are going to end up going down while finally bringing forward the science vessel unfortunately loses another tank there as well so many probes going down over here at the center left but he's actually going to save that for the moment clearing out these tanks over here forcing them back looks like flash is making a big move down towards the bottom right rather than continue to push for the center left he wants to take out these bases over here shut down the secondary rally location for rich but it's going to be very hard to get in that main base stopping that main base will be incredibly difficult a few tanks being sent over here will he be able to kill the nexus before reinforcements arrive it seems like the nexus is not going to go down in time coming out with some reinforcements storm's going to go down on these tanks majority of them are going to be picked off but flash coming forward once again oh it's so close 325 hp left on that and the base over here for rich getting taken right now flash is still very high in supply he's doing extremely well considering his earlier performances like when he's going for this like very heavy upgrade style I really feel like he's got a good chance of winning this game. However, drops are going to land on a lot of this. The army can come through. Going to go ahead and pick up a bunch of zealots in these. And maybe wipe out this tank army. If he wipes this tank army out, 
and re like takes control of this high ground once again we might be in a lot of trouble he's actually gonna go for the shuttles down here to the six o'clock this is the worst possible idea i think are we even gonna get one storm we do killing off like eight scvs something like that so not bad for that but i mean it's not what he could have gotten i think he could have actually killed this army with the combination of these gateway units and those two drops there's not enough anti-air that really make the difference so missing a bit of an opportunity and flash is splitting him into different locations right he's forcing pressure over here making rich walk through mines for to rich's credit i mean he's doing a great job clearing mines with dragoons rather than just walking through them he's managing to handle this pretty well keeping that nexus alive but meanwhile flash gonna move towards the middle of the map try to take control of this peninsula once again bring everything to bear maybe on this base down here possibly on this base but what will rich do during that time another split of tanks heading up towards this top right he really wants to try and pick this off but he actually needs mines over here to buy himself some more time he wants to be able to take that down a lot of shuttles coming out right now he's actually got a corsair with this which tells me he probably wants to go for a, a flight into this space right here or a very turreted up position because the only reason you buy the corsair is because it has higher priority than shuttles which means the turrets are going to target it first before they decide to target the shuttles which will allow you to get into bases that you regularly wouldn't be able to Dragoons taking a pretty rough trade over here in the left uh, Center left on this uh, lower peninsula Where are those shuttles? There they are Shuttles are right there. I'm going to keep an eye on the minimap. See if I can uh, pick up when those eventually get sent in Flash is moving his army beautifully so far. He's cleared this out and he's moving to kill this base as well Really fantastic play from him overall. And oh, there's the drop. It does come in. You can see the Corsair buying some time for those shuttles. And the storms are going to come down. Looks like not a lot of kills on these. In fact, only one kill on these High Templar. He will be able to clear out a bunch of the turrets though. And he shuts down the base for mining for some time. So that's a bit frustrating right now for Flash. As he only has one mining base remaining. Aside from this one. Looks like a few tanks getting caught out these were left to clear this nexus over here and rich is starting to gain the upper hand the longer that he keeps flash off of mining here the better off he will be this command center floating up uh, that seems a little bit um what would you call it optimistic from flash that he would be able to take this base over here it seems like He's probably going to end up uh, either losing this game or barely, just barely winning it on four bases. Maybe with a fifth base in the center left. Although this base is getting very, very low. So basically, uh, two, four and a half bases, right? Let's see if he can even keep that alive. That is so stacked. I wouldn't be surprised to see Flash lose off of a play like that. If he gets a couple of good storms if rich gets a couple of good storms on a tank clump like this you're just gonna lose that fight imagine two storms here and then what do we have left five tanks a good group of zealots can just clear that no problem if the tanks are way more spread out defensively it makes it way more difficult to clear that a lot of zealots coming forward the tanks being brought back now to clear, uh, help fight this army that's a full 200 supply army bearing down on flash's front going for the throat right now rich trying to break through here a lot of dragoons getting cleared out uh, on the left hand side and there's tanks down here as well so this is not going to make a lot of progress for rich he might be able to kill off a few tanks but this has not gone very well for him you can see dropping flash's supply by quite a lot but Royal, uh, Rich also gave up quite a bit of supply to make that happen. And he hasn't secured many new bases as of late. He's finally resecuring this. He's getting this Nexus up and this Nexus is done. But he has to get miners over there. 
uh, as quickly as possible to start sucking up those resources before Flash is on the move once again. Another drop, maybe, coming into this base. We've got three tanks, four tanks, and a couple of turrets, but this is the majority of Flash's SCVs that could be under threat. Is this the turning point of this game? Do we have some storms? One Templar? No, the Templar does not make it out of this shuttle and flash will keep his mining alive for a little bit longer stifling here at 128 supply trying to fight against a 170 supply protoss coming forward now gonna get some emps he does get one great emp some good storms though come out of rich rich gonna start to push forward down towards this bottom right base will he be able to make progress in this area will flash be able to react quickly enough he immediately unsieges and moves to counter this a few zealots are going to make their way down here a templar is going to sneak by that doesn't have energy but this one does throwing down storms on the encroaching tanks trying to kill this command center can he kill it goes ahead and begins the repair process he's trying his best to keep this alive but there it is he does manage to keep that alive will be able to land that cc and get back to work needs to repair flash is on the brink right now though and gg is called he taps out not able to get in there those last few scans confirming that rich had retaken a bunch of these bases and had enough units to stop the counter attack quite an intense first game but you can see that flash is not quite able to take games off of these very strong Protoss players from a macro position like yes he got three two very very quickly yes he managed to get three and then four bases at a very nice uh, strong timing but he's just not able to contend with the hyper aggressive um trade centric shuttle templar zealot drop style it's just so strong in today's meta will he fall onto some uh, aggressive play will he fall back on aggressive play from here or are we going to see more attempts out of flash to make these macro plays work we're about to find out all right flash versus rich game number two we've got rich here in the bottom left flash in the top right we are on citadel and for the most part, I would say that Protoss versus Terran cross map is very good for Protoss. Uh, it gives you quite a high win percentage, but on this map, I wonder if it balances itself out. I want to talk about the map a little bit. We're here on Citadel. For a Terran player, turns out this map is actually very, very good. We've got plenty of walls, corners small walls like this really are great for terran pushes and two base plays on this map i think are amazing usually i would be very worried for terran trying to push all the way across to make it to the natural but in this case the third base will likely go here for protoss and if you manage to get your army and tanks over to this location and along this wall right here you can just take out this base very quickly and easily. And there's not a whole lot that Protoss can do. Trying to come through this area with tanks there and there is just about impossible to take a decent trade. And whenever you can put a tank in a position like this, really easily defended position and actually hit the Nexus, it's usually a great spot for the Terrans. So... I don't know how this one's going to go. We've got a Nexus first out of Rich. He's going to go ahead and throw down his gateway now. Whereas Flash is starting off with a gas build. He will be grabbing uh, a relatively quick factory. And doing a scout here in the top left hand corner. He's not going to find his Protoss opponent uh, right off the bat. A lot of times when he sees the Nexus first, he opts to do like a crazy aggressive play. Uh, like I was saying before, if he doesn't see range, he'll go for something crazy as well. But when he doesn't, when he just sees Nexus first, uh, I think he's confident enough in his SCV control that he's like, okay, I'm just going to break you. I don't want to play from that much of a deficit. And there's 
pretty much nobody on earth that can handle uh flashes uh, scv control when he is on fire like when he is really on top of things this guy is crazy good with his workers like he can match people like snow no problem can put him up against snow and his worker control any day of the week now an end scout is what flash ended up doing so he's gonna scout this absolutely last this is the latest possible scout of that nexus first i don't know why flash decided to to scout like this but he's gonna see this nexus super super late and he threw down the command center already so i don't think he can do anything like a bunker or whatever trying to get in here he really wants to see what's coming after this and he will he gets in he sees no range he sees double gateway there are two dragoons coming up the range starts i think that maybe if that SUV hadn't gotten in we would have seen a robo right away because one of the big difficulties for protoss when you start with nexus first is that you're not going to have the robo and observers for quite some time like robo's going to be kind of late so it's important to uh, get that robo out as quickly as you can but skipping over range at, when the terran player knows about it i mean it could just lead to your death like i said flash will take that as a sign i need to attack right now if you're going to be skipping that range i need to get in and deal some damage so not going to skip that he tried to get a vulture in didn't end up working out dragoons are out on the map now but these vultures are still healthy mine's just about to finish he's going to be able to set up mine containment and prevent a third base from going down right away but that's only until the robotics facility finishes and there is a probe on the map making sure that he doesn't take a sneaky third I really like this from Rich. One way that Terran players can punish a Nexus first is by taking that sneaky third and just defending with vultures and mines. You keep the threat of the run by alive and you just keep laying down mines, making sure that they can't walk across the map and kill you with dragoons until they actually have those uh, observers out on the map and by that time you should have enough tanks on three bases uh, with vultures and mines and everything in position you might have to add on like a few extra buildings maybe an extra bunker or something like that to keep yourself alive but if you get those really quick three bases you find yourself in a really nice position as the Terran player we've seen sharp do that a lot uh, as of late as like his main counter to a nexus first especially in cross map but flash is not going to be able to do that here and he uh, rich knows it he knows that this base hasn't been taken yet and flash seemingly just going for a standard build he's got plus one on the way he's got two machine shops pumping out tanks this is all looking really flash s really s standard stuff just like the last game will he go for a six factory play this time though is he gonna try and get aggressive or will he go for another starport and try to up mech his way into a good position we've got stargate templar archives on the way arbiter play gonna be the choice here for rich rich moving forward to take his extra base will get caught by these vultures excellent moves from flash just to slow that down a little bit more he's gonna move out and then come back in hoping that there was another probe coming to throw down the nexus there's not but that's fine he tried it and it either way he slowed down the nexus quite substantially so rich actually sending more dragoons now vulture still looking for that he really wants to kill that probe one more time there it is is not going to be able to find that but i mean how how long do we delay that like a whole minute based on when the probe was right here to now getting the nexus down i think a whole minute has elapsed so this is good getting that third base slowed down a little bit extra going up to six factory here we go 
six factory out of flash and just like i was talking about i think he's gonna push directly to here and then leapfrog to here and it is gonna be incredibly difficult for rich to fight him incredibly tough for rich to save that third base arbiters of course gonna help we're pushing into a kind of an interesting location right now i'm surprised to see him over on this side are we gonna push towards this high ground i mean if you can control this high ground you get a massive advantage of course but if you get broken while trying to come up here it's going to be really painful one dt on the map is going to start to kill tanks one tank goes down oh my gosh rich is jumping right on top of this as well we're waiting for scanners to come up but everything gets wiped out this has gone incredibly bad for flash looks like he delayed that scanner a little bit too long and now he's casted one of his scans and arbiter is about to pop out and that's just gonna help make things that much more difficult and look at this he's clearing out all the mines dude dude this was a bop an absolute bop for rich he just smacked down that six factory like it was nothing but of course he had a lot more gateways than some of our other products but he's got less gateways though than flash like this just warped in six gateways to six factories so not less even gateway count and he was teching into arbiter but he just mangled that attack by killing off a tank with the drag or with the D dt dealing a lot of damage in that fight dragoons running forward and just getting right on top of that as it was setting up i'm shocked that flash didn't push for this location i really feel like laying mines here pushing to here and then just controlling this corner forcing your way into this position and killing the nexus is so good i know i've said it a couple of times now but it is just brokenly strong on this map uh and it's i think the reason why a lot of players would consider this to be a Terran favored map. Anyways, guys, we're going to jump into game number three. The last game that was played on the 24th. Let's jump right in. All right. Well, this series has already subverted my expectations a little bit. I was expecting either Flash to play a macro game and lose or do a six factory and win. I wasn't expecting him to do a six factory and lose, but Rich played a great defensive game there the attack path really didn't seem to make much sense to me the fact that he was missing detection during that attack as well uh, a lot of things were out of the order for flash in that game but he is again on the uh, come up the rebound the rust is showing let's see if he can clean it up a little bit we've got a gateway here at the front pressure gonna be the play for rich in this next game is it going to be able to get in here and just shut down flash before he can even get his legs uh, under him this would be kind of the ultimate finisher to this series right he's already beaten him in a macro play he already beat his six fact now he's gonna cheese him and take him out let's see if he can make it work he already saw that flash likes to build very few marines in his games he's really skimpy in that regard and that actually could ruin you in a game like this where the zealots are going to be arriving so quickly uh, if you don't start that second Zeal uh, second marine right away you're sitting here on one marine uh, waiting for your factory to have enough money for your factory it could be super painful He's going to send out the first SCV, though. And with that, he's going to see the Zealot coming in. He sees the gateway as well. Nice job blocking that. Gets a couple of extra hits on the SCV and lowers that HP. You know he's just going to go after that pylon. So putting a little damage on it makes it that much better. We've got some SCVs out here in the front. Come on, Flash. Show me that SCV control that I've been hyping you up about. Try to get this around on that Zealot. Or at least body block it away from the Marines. Working on this factory. Keeping the SCVs uh, in good position to make sure that he doesn't just 
get bowled over here. Zealot's coming out to take this fight, but SCVs pull back in response to the Zealots. Oh, that one SCV. Come on. Go to the other side. Okay. Flash SCV there. Does manage to sneak out. Hasn't lost anything thus far. Doing a very good job. Rich is not committing, though. He's going to keep his Zealots alive. Hiding one down here. How interesting is that? He's going to pretend that he didn't make a third Zealot. He swaps them in in the Fog of War and hides one down here. I think he's going to pull back with his Dragoon or to his Dragoon and bring that other Zealot in once everything comes down the ramp for Flash. I think that's what we're going to see here. Look at him. Hiding that Zealot. Everything comes down the ramp and there goes the Zealot right into the main. Look at that. Oh, he's actually going to block the ramp from behind. What? This is so sick. Look at this play from Rich blocking that ramp, not allowing the units to escape. Jumps on top of all of this. He kills every single Marine. The Vulture escapes with three HP. What a crazy move there. I love it. That was insanity. I'm going to come in, jump on top of this last Marine. He gets the kill on that as well. Two kill Dragoon. will back up to the secondary Dragoon here. Two probes on the ramp. He's probably just going to kill that. Oh, can he get it? Can he get it? Oh, it really needs to deal some damage with this. The SCV on the high ground is clutch. It's like one Dragoon going down here because he's really trying not to let that in. Oh, he gets it. That's big. That's actually bigger than losing the Dragoon. Stopping the Vulture from getting in is tremendous. He's blocked that out. One tank pops. Dragoon range is done. This is looking very good. He even killed the SCV, I guess. Look at that two kill probe. What a gangster. With, I think he's just waiting for Singularity Charge to finish. He just needs to wait a little bit longer here. Couple more seconds. He can take this fight. Gateway is getting kind of low, but as soon as he engages, you have to start to fight. You can't just target the gateway. Not going to be able to DPS that down in time. So one more goon going to pop out. This is perfect timing. Oh, he's going to get this tank too. Oh man, flash. Flash. Oh. Dude, Rich is crushing it right now. How have I not casted more games from this guy? He is incredible. The ideas here have been fantastic. He's trying to hit this tank on high ground, but he's missed way too many shots at this point. Gonna get a little greedy there. Going after the tank again. Will he get it? No, no. 17 health on that. Gonna keep that on high ground. Start to repair. Those lose a little bit. Keep pumping out dragoons. So he will get the Nexus down here pretty soon. Diving on top of the tank. Oh, a lot of missed shots once again. Some of these dragoons are getting real low. The Nexus is going to start. Here comes that tank immediately targeting down the weakened dragoon. I think he's going to get another kill. He does. Pushing everything back now. I think he can get rid of this gateway. I think. It's going to be... Uh, a little bit close going after oh that extra dragoon popping out might just change this fight dives right on top of the tank kills it immediately gg is called flash taps out dude what a game from rich i want to go back and look at that again because it was just beautiful this play right here and the sleight of hand of hiding that zealot watch how smooth this guy is just just watch this guys Take a look from Flash's viewpoint. The two Zealots leave. And right now he swaps out the second Zealot. Look at that. Look at that sleight of hand there. He comes back in with the two Zealots. Flash is none the wiser. Such a... Like the, the forethought. The thinking ahead there from Rich. Like he's definitely done this before, but... I am just so impressed at the way this was executed. Now, there's a lot of Marines here. He's bringing the SCVs. He's kind of doing everything right. He gets the Vulture out into the fight. He knows that he should be able to push back two Zealots and a Dragoon, but the flanking Zealot is so strong. I thought he was going to go in and try to hit some SCVs, but he just goes and blocks the ramp. And when he can't get back, like he can't, he can't run back if the Zealot is here. You're running back right into the Zealot. 
And this is just, just a beautiful execution. You can see Flash pulling back singular Marines here, trying to take the best trade possible. But this just went so superbly well for Rich. And even the Vulture, like, trying to get back up the ramp, gets blocked by the Marine, has to go out and try to make, a, you know, a, an attack over here, try to get some harassment going. But with only three HP, even just two just the two probes are able to block that. So well done. Honestly, this is one of my favorite games right now. That was very, very cool. Very well played by Rich. Flash gets bopped three in a row in the first series between these two, but I've seen this show before. I've seen Flash uh, and his improvement over this past week. Let's see if he turns it around in 3-0's Rich in the following series. Let's jump into game number four. Okay, Flash versus Rich once again on Citadel. It's about a week after that first three-game series. Actually, was it exactly a week? No. Six days after that first three games. Another three-game series coming at you. You guys are enjoying the longer series here and the flash replays make sure to subscribe plenty more where that came from guys got a gateway first not a nexus first out of rich this time citadel once again the map barracks out in the front earlier scv than usual here from flash not taking his gas Will he be going gasless fast expand this time? It's really what it looks like. Hasn't done it thus far against Rich in these games. So already a switch up from the previous series. We're going to have that gasless fast expand here in a moment. But for now, just checking out the build of rich will he be going directly into robo or is this going to be a standard a uh, range timing out of him looks like an another end scout here from flash this time it's gonna pay off getting down here to the bottom left with the scv hasn't scouted a probe coming in We'll get in here and seize the setup from Rich thus far. Nexus before range. Hasn't seen anything out of Flash as of yet. I think he might have seen the direction which the SCV came in. So he's going to be fooled into thinking that Flash is over in the top left hand corner. And that is... That is a great thing for Flash. You know, he's going to get away with a lot, I think. Dragoon actually heading over here now, but three Marines on high ground. A Vulture should be coming soon. No, no, not even a... Okay. Right. Gas is fast expand. What am I thinking? Three Marines on high ground. Pretty strong against a single rangeless Dragoon. Pulling back the one that has already been injured. And now gonna hop into this bunker. Factories on the way. SCVs here mining at the natural. A nice little advantage thus far for Flash, but nothing crazy since we did go for the Nexus before range. Just a single Dragoon out there to try to take some of that tax. I've heard some of you guys, some of your comments more recently asking about how much damage does the Protoss tax actually deal? Like how much does this cost the Terran to continuously repair? It's not so much the cost of repair. The repair is not the biggest of deals, but the number of SCVs that you have to have off the line in order to repair that is equal to the number of Dragoons that are hitting. So if there's like three, four, five Dragoons hitting that bunker, and you have to have five, 
five SCVs continuously repairing. That is a lot of repair cost, but it's a even bigger amount of lost mining time. You can see here, he's already gonna have to pull two off just to keep this alive. With a third coming up, the tax is only gonna get greater. First tank is on the way. He's going directly into siege mode. Flash has that engineering bay coming as well. He hasn't gotten a full scout of the Protoss just yet, but he will with this barracks very soon. Get a scout of the natural. Third Nexus on the way already at five minutes 30. Very quick Nexus here and he's cutting Dragoon production while taking that Nexus. We have Ion Thrusters coming here as well. Vulture Speed going to be finishing up pretty soon. Tank. I don't think the tank can hit over here. If he just pulls back these two Dragoons and keeps hitting, I think he can keep hitting this for now. Keep that tax going. You can see four SCVs not mining for this amount of time. That's painful. It is painful. Pulling back at the very last second before taking any hull damage on these Dragoons. Excellent play from Rich. Solid play here from Flash as well. Full Vulture production now. He knows that the Dragoons are right in front of his base, but he's just going to walk right through. As the Iron Thrusters finish, he will be able to escape them, but taking a little bit extra damage for the privilege of moving out before that upgrade was done. Lots of turrets on the way. The armory is coming up as well. It's like just a pure tank defense. This seems to be standard for Flash right now. Quick machine shops and a lot of tank production. Focusing on that tank production so that he can get a stronger push going. Oh. Observer here helping to clear the mines. And we should have a probe transfer in just a moment. Has to be really careful though with these vultures out on the map. Six vultures could ravage a probe transfer at this point. He's actually just going to pick up. I love this. Dude, this is some smart stuff we're seeing out of Rich. Brainiac of a Protoss player thus far in this game. Or in this series, excuse me. Even, you know, understanding what Flash was liable to do here. He manages to clear that out and prevent any probes from going down simply by utilizing the shuttle rather than going for, uh, you know, some reaver harassment. He sees the main base. There's not a lot of space for that reaver harassment to get damage. But since he's being so passive, Flash going to take a very quick third command center. Hardly anything on the defense. Just three tanks out here. And he is going to get away with it. Rich does see the transfer, but I think he's he's okay with this. Starts air weapons and fleet beacons. Second Stargate on the way as well. We'll have to see when Flash catches wind of this. But so far, he hasn't uh, put down a commsat. He's really focusing himself on this play. Getting out that third base as quickly as possible. Great target fire there from Flash to almost kill the F Reaver off already. He lost one tank, but he gets the Reaver. Beautifully done. Beautifully done here by Flash. His, honestly, in the most recent... Uh, series that we've watched from Flash, his tank control against Reaver has been nothing short of just perfection. It is so hard to push a Reaver out of your base, especially against someone like Snow, but we've seen him time and time again pull back the correct tanks to limit the damage done by the Reaver and constantly focus down with unseaged tanks, those Reavers much much harder to juggle in between attacks of the tanks when they're unseaged and flash is utilizing unseaged tanks every time 
to clear things out way quicker than his uh, fellows in the Terran race. Now, this is kind of crazy. He's going to move out and try to take a fourth. He just scanned. Let's see what he saw. He saw the main and he saw the double Stargate plus Philippe Beacon. He knows. He knows exactly what is happening right now and he's just going to pull the trigger on an attack. He starts Karam boosters. He doesn't start any Goliath production, but he's going to bring some SCVs with this. His engineering bay as well. And try to make this attack happen before the... Uh, real reaver or sorry the real carrier play comes online forcing rich back right now i think this is the best position that flash has been in this series so far running forward there's no zealot speed reaver hasn't been able to get much damage good target fire on this tank over here reaver get one more shot no it does not tanks are ravaging this dragoon force look at all the blue blood the blue goo covering the entrance to the third base or sorry the entrance to this uh mineral only base that high ground working against the protoss player this time we do have a few carriers coming out no goliaths just yet you can see they're being added on now though dragoons being dropped on top of this army one goliath makes its way to the front but GG is called. Rich taps out. Flash. An excellently timed attack. And you can just see this man cut every corner imaginable and got each thing in order the moment that he needed it. Right? He goes for the quickest possible third base. He adds on all the factories as fast as humanly possible. He defends only with turrets and no scans until right when he needs to scan. He throws it down the main base before getting his fourth base, figures out the strategy here from Rich and tears him apart. This is what I was expecting. <laughs> so far, all expectations have been met when it comes to the, the winners of these matches, right? Three games in a row, Rich was able to put Flash down. Six days later, Flash opens up his second best of three with a win. Can he put him down another three or another two times to complete the trifecta and get his revenge? Let's find out. All right, we're jumping into the next one. We've got Flash down here in the bottom left hand corner. Rich in the top right. Getting that gateway. Putting down a funny looking pylon over at top center. I'm not sure what that's all about. But we are hopping into game number, what is this, five now? Of the six game series. I guess the second best of three. But well, Flash putting out a great game, that last one. The way that he was optimizing his build in that last game, it's hard for me to even explain it. Or to even understand it. Personally, I am a Zerg player. I don't have uh, as much experience in this matchup as in those Zerg matchups. So, I'm not even the best person to try and explain it. If you want to find these replays for yourself. And, you know, analyze them yourself. You can go to cwall.gg, cwal.gg in order to find them. You can just search Royal Deluxe. You can find his match match history and find this game. No problem. But Flash, I mean, just everything looked so perfect in that last game. It's amazing how much and how different he can look between just, uh, you know, one week of practice. Gonna throw down an engineering bay here just to slow down this nexus a little bit. Looks like it's not gonna take too much time to clear that out. But it will delay just slightly the nexus here, you know, about maybe 10 extra seconds late. Yeah, there we go. It goes down. See 400 minerals once again. He actually starts the singularity charge before realizing that he was gonna have enough minerals for that. So, forcing 
really only rich to add singularity charge earlier this is what that engineering bay was able to do not a huge victory there for flash but a victory nonetheless pushing his opponent out of his comfort zone now he's gonna walk around or drive around this dragon dragon gets in sees the command center is being built some good information for him as the dragon back at home to block this ramp and flash here will he be going for something sneaky or is he going to try and six fact once again cross map positions I've talked about it before but on this map it's not as hard it's not as difficult to make an attack work if you want to do six factory cross map like a lot of maps like if this was for instance radeon cross map is it's tough it's such a long rush distance the middle is so open there's a lot of different ways that the protoss can dismantle you but on this map it's a quite a bit easier of course we saw earlier rich dismantle absolutely destroy a six fact right over here so i don't want to see flash push through here try to push through over here instead uh, make things a little bit harder for rich to break so far though no hint of a nexus coming out just yet oh does eat one mine that's a little bit unfortunate observer on the way gonna be out here just a moment some mines over here he sees that mines have been placed over at his third so the observer will likely head there directly plus one is coming up for flash and what's this an engineering bay okay second factory coming up as well everything looking uh completely standard for flash so far i'm not seeing any variation as of yet doesn't mean that he's not gonna pull out a six factory it doesn't mean that he's not going to get hyper aggressive in this game it just means that he's getting ready for a regular long game but he can look for opportunities to punish he can look for opportunities to attack here another stargate is down for rich and i don't see yeah i don't see the templar archives so fleet beacon it is right into carriers this time off of two base two base carrier while clearing out the third he's trying to fool flash he wants flash to think oh you're just coming out to take a third when that is not the case he's actually going to be building pylons here blocking out the vultures from getting in but immediately going into carrier play he's hoping that flash will try to take his own third and play defensive and slow so that the carriers come come into play and be hi hyper effective in this game you can see he's blocking and i don't think that flash was able to see the nexus there okay is he gonna see it now yeah he sees it now he comes back in he makes sure to check if there's a nexus this is giga brain stuff from flash the fact that he came back in and just double checked that location I bet you that Rich is kicking himself for not having a second Dragoon there or some other unit to block that area. Now I would imagine Flash will be getting Academy. Yeah, there's the Academy. As soon as he gets that scan, he will be able to find out what's coming. He does go for Science Facility right off the bat. So he's not prepped for like an instant six factory. But he should be able to go into 2-1. And 2-1 is the traditional way of handling... Yeah, he's, he's waiting for it. Plus 2. 2-1 um, is the traditional way of handling carrier. Because the 2 attack upgrade, Goliath, is just so much better at shooting down interceptors. Uh, this is the standard way to fight the carrier transition right as 
you're getting into your four carriers. As the four carriers are making their interceptors, you're gonna start to push across this map. There is the scan. He confirms it, he sees it. Carrier is on the way. Upgrades are coming here for Rich as well. He does not have Zealot Speed, and that's what Flash is counting on. No Zealot Speed. An immediate push across the map, and possibly a third base taken behind it. A lot more Vultures. Five Factory is going to be the play here. I think this might be a fake. He may not even take this CC. He's going to need all his money to build Goliaths. You can see he just starts care on boosters. He only now gets siege mode. I'm surprised. Uh, this is such a late siege mode. It's kind of crazy. All right. That is quite out of the ordinary to get the siege tank after getting your science facility and plus two started. This is interesting. I guess you could tell that he wasn't under enough pressure to actually need that. Wasn't going to be enough Dragoons on the map to pressure him into needing a Siege mode that early. I say early, that's actually very, very late. Now pushing out with Siege, getting set up in the middle of the map with some turrets. Kind of a curious location to start this push from. Turrets in the middle of the map. He doesn't want to take this engage before he's got plus two plus one. So I guess this makes sense. Want to wait for rallies. Set up mines on your flanks. You don't want to allow dragoons and zealots to come around and get inside of your rally point. Or get in the way of your rallies. Because that's another way that uh, Protoss players can tear you apart. Is if they manage to get in between... Mostly, it's going to be rallies of Goliaths. Still no second Nexus. So, basically, Rich has dedicated everything to building up this army. Making it as strong as it could possibly be at this point. And Flash, he's not taking it too quick. He's being really careful, really cautious about pushing out against this. And that's what we like to see. If he was like, go, 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 I have to kill you right now. There's a good chance that Rich's massive gateway plus carrier army would just completely overwhelm that. Now, I mean, he's gone pretty far across the map. He is going to come back now. This does feel a little bit late, but he's got plus two. Plus two is done. This is the big moment here for Flash. Can he take this fight? Will Rich even give the fight to him? Seems like he's more content to just back away from this. Now, if we could get a snipe on the Observer, it would be absolutely huge. A snipe on the Observer would help the mines to clear out a lot of these uh, ground units. He's just going to go straight across the map. We're going to go picture in picture right now. As he starts to push. Carriers are dealing some damage in his natural. Is he going to turn this around? So far, it seems like he just wants to go for the attack. He's not going to turn around, going right into the natural. Are we going to have a base trade situation? Only two tanks are being made right now. Quite a few dragoons are popping out for Rich. Three tanks split over here to actually kill this base. And the tanks are just moving in, clearing out everything. Gonna go ahead and take a look at these carriers now. They're getting in on top of the production. Generally, it's not great to base trade with a Protoss. They usually come out on top in that. I think this is actually being targeted. No, that turret's not being targeted. And GG is called Rich with the counterattack, able to decisively beat Flash here in game number two. I am frankly surprised, shocked, really. That Flash did not turn around his army and head back home during this fight. I thought for sure we were going to see Flash go back home and just fight with the army and take his third. It sucks to allow the carrier player to get up to six carriers. But 
I mean, the third base was so late. It was so late here for Rich. He had to take a good fight. He had to do something with this army. Or I think Flash was going to run away with the game. And Flash gave him the opening that he was looking for. The counterattack works miracles. And Flash has to tap out. Gosh, what a crazy series of events. Maybe he could have stayed in and just tried to kill all the buildings. I don't know. What do you guys think? Were there probes out on the map? Was there even one probe on the map? I really don't see any. There's the other two carriers coming out. Could he have actually killed all the buildings? I guess the carriers would have had to head home at some point. This would have been a close game, though. Had he just, you know, killed these goons, started massacring all the probes, and just focused on killing the buildings, I wonder what would have happened. Would have been interesting. Anyways, guys, we're going to head in, uh, on into our next game. Maybe there wasn't enough Goliaths. Well, there was 11 Goliaths. 11 Goliaths can kill a lot of interceptors uh, and delay the uh, carriers by quite a lot. Hmm... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We're going to jump into our last one. Game number six. Here we go. Here we are at the end of the series. Six games between Rich and Flash. What have we learned so far? Well, Flash is continuing to grow. He's continuing to learn from these Protoss players on the ladder. But there's a few things that he hasn't quite got knocked down just yet it seems like carrier play is pretty strong against him i mean that first game where rich tried to go carriers obviously he had a very hard time i felt like flash had the perfect read uh in the last game but it didn't seem like he knew exactly what he should do i really don't think the base trade was the call in that game and obviously it wasn't considering how badly it went, but really engaging with the army is a must when the t Protoss player is stuck on two bases. They're going to have so much army and very little income behind it. As long as you're sticking on two bases to the Protoss two base, you should be absolutely fine, especially with uh, plus two plus one being done i mean the the position with the addition of those upgrades is just so good so there are some things to work on of course flash is not perfect none of us are i've gotten quite a few wacky comments since flash came back i guess there's a lot of new player people watching the channel if you've been here for a long time you know that i am not perfect that i often make mistakes but that is just the way it is this game has endless information to learn and nobody knows it all we're all just trying to do our best we've got again very skimpy play here from flash with just one marine and the dragoon is done dragoon is out and headed this direction and we're floating our racks he will be able to draw the Dragoon into the back of the Protoss main for a moment. Maybe long enough to finish this bunker. I think as long as he starts it now, should be okay. So he gets that second, or he gets that bunker going. He will get a second Marine here in a moment, I believe. Vulture will be out on the map as well. So you can't just send both Dragoons across the map immediately. One of them's got to stay on the ramp back at home uh, with this Vulture out. It's just too much damage potential if the Vulture slips into your main base. And so he will, with just a single Dragoon, hold back the... Or with a single Marine, hold back this Dragoon. Doesn't even start the second Marine. It's crazy how skimpy Flash is in these games. I might be, I might be crazy, guys. I might be wild for thinking this, but... Just one Marine in a bunker? Couldn't he have run by with the Dragoon and just gone up into the main? Like, wouldn't that have been a thing? There's literally one Marine in a bunker. 
and he was adding on a machine shop so he didn't have a tank on the or he had one on the way but it was you know it just popped out now so think about how much damage he could have potentially done forcing the SCVs to run around and chase him yeah it would have been uh, maybe a loss of a dragoon but I don't know I feel like flash is getting away with a lot We're going to have that fourth Marine now. He's continuing to build Marines. This may be a fake double. An FD push. If he just keeps making um, Marines like this. Yeah, there's the fake double push. Adding on mines in his base right into natural. Catch any DTs that might be slipping in. We've already got the shuttle out. But Revox Support Bay is not quite done yet. We're going to go into an Observer now. And the Marines and tanks are hitting already. Very important to get the Marines out ahead of these tanks, though. You don't want to have them blocked. Four Dragons. Five Dragons now is a bit of a scary number. Going right after the tank. Instant two-shot kill. Two Dragons have fallen, but a tank already gone. This push is over. Mines will be laid, but great control there. Watch how he just dips back quickly. He forces the the mine to pop. It comes up. He falls back a little bit and then hits hold position. Beautiful control there. That's Bisu-esque control that we just saw out of Rich. And he will now be able to clear the mines away from his third base to potentially take that. Coming up here in a moment, making a couple of Zealots next for his Reaver Shuttle. We've got eBay floated out over here. Very characteristic of Flash lately to float that eBay and the, of course, the barracks as well. Maybe that was the problem. Remember the attack that we saw in Citadel that didn't work? The six factory attack that didn't work? That six factory didn't have the floating barracks in eBay with it, did it? If I remember correctly, maybe that's the, the missing element because all the six facts that we've seen, pretty much all of them have had that one factor mixed in the double floating buildings. It's kind of ominous to see those floating ahead of a six factory push has a feeling of inevi inevitability the way they slowly fly forward. Here comes the Reaver with double Zealot. Let's see what they can do. Does take a lot of damage there. You can see already taking quite a bit of hull damage. He tries to drag the mine, does a great job with that. Oh, great shot with the tanks. The tank control is off the chain in these games. I mean, he's taking no damage thus far and the Reaver is just about dead. Crazy good control there out of flash. Keeps everything alive. Should be able to just repair up these tanks now. And look to take that third base here in a moment. Sees the shuttle rotating. Knows where to send his next few units here to counter that. How many factories do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, and potentially six. There it is. Six factory play once again. Get those buildings together, Flash. I want to see it. With this many tanks already produced, it's a six factor that we've seen time and time again on the channel. Flash has been doing it with great success against all of these other Protoss players. He's had mixed results in this series. He's like one and one in the six factory play. One time it went great, one time it didn't go so good. We're switching into Arbiter here. And that is the play that actually shut down the Six Factory, if you guys remember. Dark Templar. Damaging a lot of those tanks. And the Six Factory was unsuccessful. This time, he has put down his armory already. He's got the commsats going. And he has the two buildings floating forward. This is what I'm talking about, boys. Here we go. 
Six Factory is in full effect. Double comp set center just about to finish. He's not going to move before that's done. Three SCVs. He does it the same way almost every time. But it's so incredible to watch. Look at that. He scans immediately kills the DT. What did he take? One swipe on one of the tanks. And he's already moving towards this natural second Dark Templar is out. This is truly just to bait scans. Another Dark Templar down. But it killed a Vulture or a Goliath. Not sure which one. Tanks are moving closer and closer now. We need turrets. Turrets are a necessity. Have to get a turret out ASAP because that Arbiter is on the way. If you come in here and you don't have detection, the Arbiter will absolutely rip you apart. Time to clear some of these mines that are right underneath the units. Here's those floating buildings moving into position. Gonna start to soak up some of these Dragoon hits. The Arbiter is at the front. The mines are in precarious positions. Gonna break through here. Coming right up on top of this army. Mines are gonna connect pretty well in the middle of a lot of these zealots. Dragoons are stopping to hit the buildings. The reavers go down. Only one reaver remains. He gets it. The kill on that reaver with that sharpshooter. Division of vultures diving in to pick it off. Excellently done there. Flash is gonna get one more scan. He's got enough for one more scan. He kills off a bunch of these zealots, but he trades out quite a lot of tanks and vultures for that. Now running out of that scan, the turret is not able to finish. Probably going to have to build one a little bit closer to his current army. Went around the side here with some vultures trying to get a few kills on a few of these probes, but so far not going so well. Great mine connection though. Uh, there though. Two dragoons go down and that means the vultures can't really be stopped right here. Vultures are going to start to kill a lot of these probes, but the Arbiter is keeping them cloaked so that that can't happen for the time being. Forcing back the Vultures, this Arbiter has done a lot to keep Flash back, but the Six Factory is continuing and turrets are slowly claiming more ground, cre creating more areas of detection for Flash to fight underneath great mine drag there the zealot stays alive after clearing all those mines he doesn't get a kill but he certainly gets my respect again running forward here i think that we're just about out of steam rich is i mean he has no chance of breaking through that tank army look at all that i mean how many tanks do we even have here? 11 tanks breaching the natural and we're trying to pump a Zealot Dragoon out the front. Looks like he's just going to be able to spend all of his money here. But doesn't have any spells to combo with this. What happened to Stasis in this fight? Where is the Stasis? Are we going to have one finally? There's a Stasis in the background, but only three Dragoons remain. And this tank push will not be stopped. The Master Sergeant Siege Tank with 11 kills. Absolutely earning that rank today. Another stasis here at the front, but no army to break this push. 1,500 minerals in the bank. It seems like every time Protoss lose to this push, they've got a ton of banked up minerals and gas that they're just not able to spend because the pressure is immense with Flash rushing you down. The six factory play seems like the way to go. Two and one in his six factory play. An awesome little series between these two players. Definitely found some new respect for Rich in this series. He played some excellent games, especially those first three, but also that game where he was able to counterattack and win with the carriers. He managed to take a game off of Flash, even in his new improved form when players like Motive and Snow have just been getting shut down. Rich finds a way, but he's not able to stop him in this last game. And Flash goes home with a victory at the end of the day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
this little cast and I'll see you in the next one.